Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to From the Desk. Today we are talking about narrative voice as part four of my POV series. Um, so if you haven't watched the first three, I might reference, I might, I may not, uh, reference, reference something from the first three episodes. Um, so if you want to, go check those out. Um, if not, just hang around. Let's talk about narrative voice. These are the type of writing styles you can use in fiction. Um, I'm not sure, maybe, I guess you could use this in a, more of a non, uh, a, not fictional non-fiction, but a literary non-fiction, kind of like Capote writes, uh, Truman Capote, Truman Capote wrote. Um, so first off, let's talk about stream of conscious, uh, voice, because I have no idea how to even begin to write in that. I do know that there are examples. You have uh, James Joyce's Ulysses is written in that. I have not, I've not read it. Um, same with William Faulkner's The Sound and the Fury. And I believe my friend told me As I Lie Dying um, is a stream of conscience. From what I understand of that writing style, you are trying to mimic the the way the brain works, the thought process, instead of describing actions. Um, now, that seems that seems to be used in all fiction that I've read, um, because any story that is just literally all just act the actions of the characters, I mean, that's just that's pretty much just a script. So I'm I'm thinking that there's some stream of consciousness in every single fiction book I've ever read. Um, now, is it? Bait. Is it solely that style? Maybe not. Now, next is character voice. This is the most common one. Um, this is just your character's voice, whether it be all the other, all the other POV stuff that we talked about, whether it be first person, second person, third person, all that. You're in the character. You're working in the character's voice, um, especially with first and third person views. Um, second person view, not so much because you're actually talking. The narrator is talking to the reader as if the reader is in the story. So, um, that one, it, like I said, that's the most, that is the most common. Some of the, some of the books, I mean, just about everything you read in popular fiction is going to be written in character voice. Um, next up is more of a genre staple. Um, it's uh, unreliable voice or unreliable narrator. Um, you're going to find this in books like, uh, especially in psychological thrillers, um, like The Girl on the Train, uh, Gone Girl. Basically, what you're, what you're dealing with is a narrator that cannot be trusted. Um, you're dealing with a narrator that knows everything but is not telling you everything up front. You're dealing, most of the time, you're, you're dealing with a liar, an unreli unreliable person, unreliable narrator. Um, last but not least, and yes, this one is going to go quick because there really isn't too much to talk about as far as these styles are concerned. There was more to talk about with the first three episodes on how to write in the different point of views. Um, the last one is epistolary voice. You see this one very, very rarely nowadays. Um, it's a rather boring, um, way to write. Uh, it's, well, it... It's it's no fun to write either. I don't think um, because you're talking you're talking about things that have already that have already happened, um, and you know especially the the main thing I know there's a lot of fiction like third person well sorry um, past tense stuff that's already happened. I get that. What I'm talking about is either the epistolary is diary entries and letters to people. So you have like Bram Stoker's Dracula is going to be epistolary. Um, I have not read many myself. Um, let's see here, the, uh, I'm trying to think of some other, I have a list of here, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is another one, um, that's another, another one I haven't read either, um, I've tried to read both these things, I just don't like the style, so I never end up finishing them, um, so that's everything, try to make this as succinct as possible just to wrap up this series, um, because these, these narrative voices are not as important as the POV. As long as you get your story across, you can mix and match stream of consciousness, character, uh, uh, character voice, unreliable narrator. In fact, that you mix <laughs> the unreliable narrator. You have to it, unreliable unreliable narrator is 
character voice. I mean, you're however you look at it. So those two things, it's just like a subgenre of that. Um, and then epistolary is just letters, really. That's all it is. Um, so if you have any questions, if I didn't get into these enough, please leave them down there in the doobly-doo. If I don't know the answer to this stuff, then I will look it up, and I will try to help you out the best I can. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been From the Desk. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.